Hi there, thanks for tuning in. Something that I really like to do while I'm working or whenever I have some downtime or whenever I'm at the gym is listen to a podcast. I find that podcasts are just a great way to dive into a certain topic while I'm doing something else. And I really, really like podcasts where I can just learn about different things. And that has led me to gravitate a lot to certain business podcasts that I listen to pretty frequently. And today I wanna to share with you seven of those business podcasts, which I truly love. Now, these are only podcasts that I've personally listened to. Maybe you have a favorite business podcast out there that I'm not mentioning here. And chances are I haven't listened to it because there's a ton of podcasts out there. And if you really have a business podcast you love and you think uh, myself or other people would enjoy it, please comment down below. Let me know. I, I'm always in search of new podcasts. But today I want to give you a very diverse list of podcasts and hopefully I can tell you about at least one podcast that you may not have listened to. And that way there's something new that you can learn if you're into podcasts. So I'm going to hop right into this list. And the first podcast in my list is called How I Built This with Guy Ross. This podcast is hosted by NPR and Guy Ross, who is a journalist who sits down and interviews people who are mainly entrepreneurs and business owners and who actually built the businesses from the ground up pretty much. And essentially what Guy does is let the people tell their stories. And boy, are there some incredible stories out there that people are telling. And you can learn a lot from these stories that these entrepreneurs are telling you. He interviews, for example, the founders of Airbnb, Five Guys, JetBlue, Wayfair, Stitch Fix, a lot of huge companies. And you'll find a lot of similarities in what he asks these interviewees. However, their answers are always different and you can get, get a lot out of just listening to these very successful people talk. And it really shows you and puts you into perspective about how difficult it is to be an entrepreneur and build a giant company. And even some of these companies are still going through some turmoil here and there or aren't entirely profitable. So it's very interesting to hear about companies in all stages of development. It's an incredible podcast and it's also fairly easy to recommend. There's also a book called How I Built This written by Guy Raz where he also gives some of those concrete examples of people who did incredibly unique things and led them to be great entrepreneurs. And that's also something you can buy alternatively if you're not into podcasts, but you're into books. How I Built This also features some episodes called How I Built Resilience. Essentially, it talks to these same founders who have been interviewed before and talks about how their businesses have adapted essentially to the global pandemic and how they're building resilience and hopefully not firing people, adapting and ge keep generating revenue even in dire circumstances. So these are awesome episodes if you're interested in learning more about how the businesses are doing right now and how they're adapting quickly to quickly changing situations. The second podcast in my list is called Business Books & Co. It is by David Kopech, David Short, and Eli Mitchell. I really like this podcast because what they do is they basically read a given business book each month. It's usually based on either a person who has done a lot of cool things and wants to basically share their experience or on a given company and how that company grew, developed, what the culture is around. And the hosts then break down the books and talk about the businesses, what they learned from these books, whether or not they would recommend the viewers to read these individual books. And this podcast is simply incredible to me. It has led me to read a lot of business books that I first found over there. And even if you're not that big a reader, it can give you an overview of what that business and that book is all about. And sometimes that may be enough. Plus the hosts have really honest opinions about the books, about the authors, about the businesses themselves. And it's great to hear that because they're not always just saying, oh, this business is great, this book is great, these entrepreneurs are great. And the truth is sometimes not everything is great and they're there to tell you. So I really appreciate how candid they are. And that's something you don't quite get with a lot of other podcasts where you feel like the hosts sort of have to recommend what they're talking about. The next podcast I wanna talk about is called Business Breakdowns and it's by Colossus. This podcast generally features a single business that they're diving deep into, for example, Alibaba, ExxonMobil, ZoomInfo, and generally features someone like an investor, a subject matter expert, or even someone closely related to the company. And it really dives deep into what that business is all about. It goes a little bit into the history of the business, then it talks about the model of the business, what advantages it has, what makes it unique, and as they say, what really makes it tick. And it's generally one hour plus long episodes that are really going deep into a business and I find that it gives really good insight into what is unique about certain incredibly successful businesses and I really love the way the podcast itself is presented and how the guests are really informed people who are telling you 
all these incredible fun facts that I feel like I would have never learned otherwise. If you're really interested in particular businesses, then Business Breakdowns is probably an excellent podcast for you. The next podcast I want to talk about is called Indie Hackers. It's by Cortland Allen. Indie Hackers is essentially a series of interviews with a lot of entrepreneurs who are labeled indie hackers mainly because they're people who build apps or technical programs and then monetize them and make revenue generating machines out of them. It really focuses on online businesses only and on how ideas and side projects were turned into projects that generate consistent revenue and that have made the owners incredibly successful people. If you're someone with technical skills, for example, or who's really interested in the world of online businesses, apps and whatnot, and especially if you're interested in how to monetize those apps or those technical things you're building, well, this podcast is incredible and it features a lot of young companies, a lot of people who are mostly technical people. So it gives you a very different perspective because it's not just the business people necessarily. And also hearing about all the different ways that exist to monetize something, some that I would have never imagined, and the way that people think about how to monetize something can really help you in the process of hopefully having recurring streams of income or turning a small business into something really powerful that generates a lot of cash. So I really love Indie Hackers because it feels like a version of, for example, how I built this where bigger entrepreneurs are interviewed, but it focuses on smaller people who have online exclusive businesses. So I really love it. It's like a scaled down version, a more maybe down to earth version, and I couldn't recommend it more. All right, fifth podcast here is called The Tropical MBA by Dan Andrews and Ian Schoen. Essentially, what these two are talking about is about online businesses. They're also very interested in new technologies, in traveling, living internationally, and working remotely. And this is a long running show. They have over 600 episodes now, and there's a lot of variety into what these episodes are about. Even if you're not interested in a particular episode, it doesn't mean that no episode in this podcast is going to interest you because they have a lot of interviews. They have a lot of talks about new technologies, like for example, certain cryptocurrency based technologies or DeFi, which uses blockchain. And these two podcast hosts are running their own business and they give you updates about how their business is going, how running this business and working remotely is affecting their lives and they give you updated numbers about it and I think that's great. And they also even do book reviews at times or even revisit old episodes or old books or old technologies and talk further about it. So I think this podcast just has something that everyone can enjoy in at least a couple of episodes. And especially for those people who want to work remotely or maybe travel and work internationally, especially in a more globalized world, well, this podcast may particularly interest you. The next podcast I want to talk about is Business Wars by Wondery. This is a podcast that's more narrative in a way. It almost reminds me of listening to an audiobook where the narrator is actually acting out the characters in a way. Business Wars usually does a mini series and essentially talks about two rival businesses, say for example, Uber versus Lyft or DoorDash versus Uber Eats or TikTok versus Instagram and basically tells you the story from beginning to end about how both businesses started, what their rivalry was like, how it emerged, how it evolved, even what adversities they both faced and how it resolved or how it's still ongoing in many ways. Very fun. Generally, there's four, five, six parts of a given series. So if you want a longer narrative that stretches out for a while, I find that this podcast is actually an incredibly entertaining thing to listen to. The acting out the voices of people or what people are doing, maybe it's not for everyone, but I feel like I got used to it fairly quickly. Plus, I think it's very unique to hear the perspective of pitting two businesses against each other and what the competition is like rather than just how those businesses got built. So you get a really complete overview about even the industry, but also what that rivalry and competition is like. Last but not least, we have Masters of Scale by Reid Hoffman. Reid Hoffman is the founder of LinkedIn and a very prolific investor. And he brings a lot of guests that he interviews about how they scale up their businesses or scale their projects and do great things. The podcast is very fun. The interviews are generally very lighthearted, but there's a lot to take from these interviews. And he doesn't just interview entrepreneurs. He can interview people like Will I Am or JJ Abrams, who are incredibly successful people, though they haven't necessarily founded like a company that is in the Fortune 500. And it also features some side episodes called Rapid Response, which is essentially how these businesses or how these entrepreneurs have dealt with the pandemic and how they've adapted to it and maybe scaled based on that new environment. So that's very interesting if you're interested in how 
these businesses have adapted to the current environment. So this was it for my favorite business podcast. There's many out there that I still haven't listened to and I'm always looking for new podcasts. So if there's a business podcast that you really like that you want me to know about, well, please comment it down below because I love learning about new podcasts. With that said, I thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome. If you like videos like these, then I suggest you like and subscribe because there's more videos like these to come. I know I'm probably going to make a video very soon about investing podcasts. So if you're interested in that, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. And that way, when I publish that video, it'll go right to your inbox. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.